freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. You join me, I was gonna say first thing in the morning because it's dark out, but it's actually seven o'clock. <laughs> well, it's just before seven. We're, we're just about to rock up to um, the Port of Wiz Beach to be loaded with timber. We're going down. Let's get the timber. Da, da, da. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got to get loaded for Reading. Um, don't know where I'm going, that's all I know. If I appear tired, it's because I did a night out last night and like I literally woke up 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, done my checks and now we're driving. Um, I'm alert, but obviously it takes a while for your face to wake up. <laughs> it does in my case anyway. <laughs> so I'm, wait I'm just waiting for my face to wake up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just around the corner now from Port of Wiz Beach and uh, we'll get loaded with timber. I, I would imagine it's gonna be quite a big load. It normally is. Could be fence posts, or could be planks. I don't know, could be, could be anything, we, we will see. We will see. Right, wanna go left here, where it says port and industrial area. Let that um, lorry come through. Why do I feel like? I sort of felt, felt like only half my lights flashed then. Double checked this morning they all worked, but just then, it, I don't know whether it was just me, just then it just felt like only one side worked. Now nah, they're all on. They're all on. Right, so um, I messaged uh, one of my colleagues last night, Rich, because um, I know he's been loaded out of here first thing in the morning before. Normally whenever I come in, it's during the day. So I asked him what time they open in the morning and he said seven o'clock. So, it is currently 6.59, um, so we are going to be rocking up bang on 7. Is it going to be busy? I will assume so. <laughs> I'm going to assume there's going to be quite a few trucks. But we'll see. If we can get in, that would be great. We'll just get in the queue. One thing I love about the flatbed is, like places like this, once we're in, we're in. We don't even get out of the truck. Someone comes to you to get your paperwork, uh, well, to get your reference gets your registration plate, and then you go into the waiting area, stay in the truck again. Then someone, a forklift, takes you to where they got to load you, and uh, then you start strapping up. You haven't got to worry about messing around with curtains, which is what I can't stand. I think he wanted to come around, I don't think he wanted to stop. It's my right way. Gotta be careful around here because I'm sure it's just around the bend. It is. Uh, we're just we're just gonna pull up alongside this one for now. <coughs> we we'll pull up alongside him. At least then we're in and we're off the road and we know we we are next. So yeah, right. Looks like they are well and truly shut. That gate's still shut over there, look, so. Yeah, at least we're in. We know we're second. Turn the engine off. When you see me next, it'll probably be a lot brighter. <laughs> and my face will be more awake. Okay, so it is a little bit brighter outside now. We are in the process of being loaded. They've got some stuff on that already. They look like really thick fence posts. Um, so yeah, we're going to start strapping up slowly uh, whilst he loads us with the rest of the stuff. 
Uh, we got here dead on seven o'clock. The time now is eight o'clock, and we only just started on getting loaded. We were only the, we were the second one in when we got in, but I don't think they actually start working till eight o'clock. So, never mind. Anyway, let's get strapping. I got told off for not wearing a hard hat, <laughs> so hard hat is on. Uh, anyway, we're getting there. This is what we got so far. I'm gonna put two straps on each one. Uh, there's nothing behind that one yet, so I can't strap it up. We'll probably get two more pallets on. Well, it'll be two, four, six, eight. But we'll see. But for now, she's looking like that. We're, uh, it's not that late, it's only quarter past eight, so that's been put on in 15 minutes. So, another 10 minutes or so, we should be out of here. That's gone very dark all of a sudden. I think it's going to lash down in a sec. It's not raining yet, which is good. I just get the feeling, just get the feeling it's going to absolutely lash down with rain anyway. Okay, the load, this is what we've got. Fully strapped, got two straps on each one. Well, three straps on that back one, because why not? Let's jump in the truck and uh, go get our paperwork. Right, we are loaded and strapped and we have paperwork. I don't actually know where I'm going in Reading yet. I haven't looked or researched it. I just want to get out of here. It's not busy, it's actually really quiet. I was expecting there to be a, like a proper queue of trucks, but that's not the case. It's really, really quiet, but nonetheless, I want to get off the way bridge come around here and research my route properly without having to worry about being in the way of vehicles. So uh, yeah, we we'll put the hazards on. Is there anyone in this van? No, there's not. There's no one in the van, but I just don't want to block him in. Right, so we're just going to park up here and then uh, I can now research where we're actually going to go. Engine off, because I'm going to be using my phone. Right, South End Road in Reading. We're going to a place called McVee Parker & Co Limited. On Google it says McV McVee Parker Farm and Fenton Supplies and we have wood on so that makes sense. Yeah, so we have a destination. So we know where we're going and that's good. The next step is to just to check the notes, see if there's any special instructions because sometimes they want you to call in advance. If that's the case, I'll uh, I'll dial the number now into my phone and then using hands free I can say re redial the last number but uh, delivery instructions 3 p.m. cut off that's the only delivery note we have um, so that's cool we're gonna be there for 12 o'clock so plenty of time let's get going because we're gonna have something to do after that no doubt although we'll have to have a break once we're tipped uh, well, we're on driving time now. We're only on 16 minutes driving time, so yeah, we should be rocking up there. Traffic dependent on about four hours drive. So, we'll, uh, we might get a break before we go in or we might have a break afterwards here. It's yet to be seen. We'll see how we get on. It's a long drive. I so said it's a good three hour drive before we're there. And I do think at some point it's going to rain as well. I would not be surprised if it rains at some point. There's the load. Right, anyway, I will see you when we get a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Weight limit, five miles ahead. Luckily, we are coming off in 350 yards. <laughs> I didn't see what that sign said. So it said something about indicating. I'm indicating now anyway. Right, we are five minutes away, 2.7 miles. I think the roads are gonna get a little bit narrow potentially, I'm not sure. We are taking up two lanes here to get around this corner, because why not? There we go. Oh, these trees are a little bit low. Might get some scrapage on the old roof. Should, should be all right on most of them. Yeah, we look, yeah we're looking good. Yeah, so um, we're like two and a half miles away now, not too far. We've been driving now for pretty much just over three hours straight. Uh, we've made up some time. 
Uh, I'm yet to tell my sat nav that I can now do 56 <laughs> rather than 53. So we do make up a bit of time. I might just keep it like that actually because it's nice to make up time. It's uh, something I was always taught in retail. Um, don't over promise and under achieve. Under promise and over achieve. In other words, don't tell someone it's gonna take you 30 minutes to sort out something, but actually take an hour. Tell them it's gonna take 30 minutes to sort something out, but actually take 15 minutes, you know what I mean? Tell them it's gonna take longer than you think, and then when you phone them up and say, oh, it's done now, they're gonna think, oh, great service. Whereas if, if you tell someone it's gonna be done in 30 minutes and actually takes an hour or 45 minutes or whatever, they're gonna be like, oh, well, they taking their time. And it just, it's just cuts, customer satisfaction. Anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> Making up time makes me feel good, basically. Right, so these roads are a little bit wobbly, so I am just gonna go careful of the, uh, of the load on the back, because I can see it moving left and right a bit. Don't want a load shifting. Come on, girl, get up the hill. <laughs> We've got a queue of uh, vehicles behind us now as well. Come on, girl, you can do it. We're gonna drop gear again. Come on. Come on, we're on Common Hill. If anyone knows where that is. Just after Thiel. Oh yeah, that's the other, th that's the other thing. So yeah, delivering to Reading, but it's actually other side of Reading. If you think of the M4, Reading is one side, and we've basically gone to Thiel, now we're on the back road. So it's the other side of the M4, not actually Reading side, but it's not the end of the world. That started raining. Just as we were about to have turned up, it started raining. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely, thank you, Weber. <coughs> Starting to get left, because we are turning off. Only a mile away. Just to keep an eye on the traffic. Yeah, nothing's following us down, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't really want to meet another truck coming down here. Oh yeah, we've got two vehicles building us down. Two vans. They're actually probably going to the same place we are. Be very, uh, very likely. You tend to find that if you're delivering to builders, merchants, or timber merchants, or anything like that. The vans following you in behind are probably going to the same place. There we go. Home straight. It's just down here on the left, where that red car is. Looks like we're going to have to get on the other side of the road to pull on in, though. This is where we are delivering. Do they want me on the left or on the right hand side? I'm not sure. If they want me on the left, that's quite a sharp turn. If they want me to go straight on, then it's fine. There's plenty of space inside, though. Could probably turn around in there. I just don't know where... I think they probably want me to go down this left turn here. Hopefully someone comes out to me, because I'm blocking their road up. I think one of their own lorry drivers has just come in. Just uh, to make this turn, just need to make a slight shunt.
There we go. Bring it on in. It looks like they're going to tip me from one side, which is good. Lovely. We are here. Right, let's go see him. See you in a bit. Right, straps are off and uh, the load is starting to come off now, which is good. It is, uh, it is starting to spit with rain, so we are going to jump back in the truck before it does actually lash down. <laughs> it's been... Uh, been threatening to rain all day, I think. Um, so we're jumping the truck. Still waiting to find out where we're going from here. We should have that text road soon. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're tipped. We are tipped. Uh, we need to get a move on as well because we've got a busy afternoon. We've got to go to Shoreham Docks, get loaded with more timber. And that's going to... Uh, oh, can't remember where it's going. It's going near, somewhere near St Albans for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we've got to get a move on because we're not going to be there till three o'clock. Probably be there until five o'clock, I would imagine. Hang on, let's concentrate getting out of here a sec. Get around there. Yes. Should be all right. This is what annoys me, I'm waiting to go. I'm here waiting to go, and maybe we just send someone else across. Right, let's take a slightly wider swing so we can actually get out. We'd lift axle up. Yeah, they're proper eager to close the gates behind me as well. I wonder why that is. Right, before we go too far, high vis off, seatbelt on. Why would you flash me and then carry on going? A car just flash me as if to say, you know, go on out and then just kept coming anyway. Never mind. Right, so. We've got to go get loaded with timber from Shore and Port. We're not going to be there until like three o'clock. Probably we'll be there for a couple of hours, I would imagine. That's five o'clock. And then. I reckon it's a two hour drive to where we need to deliver in the morning. I'm, only, I'm hoping we can only drive an hour or so. So it'd be like six, maybe seven o'clock at night. Worst case scenario, I'm hoping. Park up and then we can have, well, hopefully we parked up by six o'clock and then we can have 11 hours off, start at five and we'll have no problem getting there for six. But it might, it's looking like it's gonna be a reduced rest uh, tonight to make the delivery on time tomorrow. But 
we will do what we have to do. The only thing that's going to mess up really is if we're if we're there for, for a long time, get it loaded, which is is entirely possible. It really is. So we will see. We will see. Anyway, let's get on out of here. Luckily, it don't take too long to get to the motorway from here. And it's motorway all the way, pretty much, and A roads. Now we can crack on. It's spitting. It's <laughs> like I said. It's been threatening to like lash it down all day today. It's not actually lash it down yet. I'm hoping it doesn't. Not until I at least get loaded anyway, and then crack on from there. Get very narrow down here, mate. These roads are quite narrow. I'd like to pass vehicles on the straights rather than on the bends, and the van kept coming then, but never mind. Let's uh, get on out of here. Got another another bend coming up, a left-hand turn bend. Just down here, look. This will be probably the last one that we'd need to worry about. I said, you, you wouldn't really want to meet another lorry coming down here. It'd be a bit tight. There we go. Oh, is that a lorry? That's a lorry turning in down here now. If I get around this corner quickly, I'd be on the straight bit. Oh no, it went straight on. Okay. Thank you, Van, for letting me out. Wish the car <laughs> could see that I was blocking the road up. Forward planning. The van driver had some, the car didn't. Ah, oh, I need fuel. But I've got half a tank. I don't... Mm, where am I going to fill it with fuel? We've got we to pass Redden Services. Well, there's a pheasant there. We're literally flying alongside the pheasant. <laughs> Yeah, we've got to go to Redden Services. I'm trying to think in my head. Well, yeah, I think we're going to have to stop at Redden Services and get some fuel quickly. Uh, yeah. We've got half a tank, which is plenty for today, but tomorrow... I don't... Think... It's difficult, because like, on one hand I want to just get on, and on the other hand, if I don't stop today, I've got to stop tomorrow anyway, so choices right we are down near Shoreham docks it's basically next to Brighton there's the sea right in front of us I do believe this <laughs> this little cone thing on the bottom right hand side I don't know if you can quite see it um, by the traffic light not this not this red light but Next to the post where the pedestrians press it, there's like this little cone, like a bell, to stop you riding up the path. I think one of my colleagues had fun with that. <laughs> Come on, mate. Thank you. Let's go around this corner. Lovely jubbly, right. Home stretch. I think it'd be really nice to visit this sort of area as a as a tourist, maybe stay in a in a hotel with a balcony view or something. I might do that with the kids or my wife. Maybe next year. Oh, ambulance. Anyway, on the way down we stopped and got some fuel. So we've got a nice full tank of fuel now. Because I was wondering, I had to do it at some point, either today or tomorrow, so I thought I'd do it today. Which means uh, ETA is, well, we're going to be there in four minutes. And uh, it's five past, well, just gone five past three. So, yeah, it's looking like ten past three will be there. Not too shabby. I'm hoping we can get loaded and out in an hour. That would be great. That would be amazing. Because then hopefully we, well, maybe we can park up by five. But it's looking like it'd be like seven o'clock, I expect, before we parked up. That's fun. That's what I suspect. We'll have to wait and see. 
we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's get down here. There's uh, Chandler's building supplies right in front of that green sign, delivered there a few times. It's quite a handy place to, to deliver to actually, because you deliver there and then you can pick up from shore and docks. I was going to overtake the cyclist, but there's a car coming. Come on, mate, get pedalling. So, yeah, he stopped to let me pass, so thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers, bruv. We're going to head on down here now. Um, so this place, there's, they got like, I think it's three different stockyards. So only once or twice have I had everything I need to collect in one stockyard. But sometimes, well quite often, what you do is you get loaded with like two or three packs, maybe four packs, or maybe most of the load, and then you'd have to go to another, uh, another stockyard and get another pack, and go to another stockyard and get a couple of other packs there. It's like, yeah, it's all over the place. So that's the only annoying bit when you're uh, going to all the different stockyards. Fingers crossed it's all in one place. That would be nice. That would be very nice. It's all clear, let's go. You can also park up here uh, for the night. So we could always do that. However, you've got to pay for it. It's like 20 quid or something for HGV to park up for the night. And you've got no, like, am amnetity amnities, is that what you say? Amnities? No, there's no toilets or food or anything like that. Or ability to buy food. There's, uh, there's nothing. And you're, just, you're just paying for the privilege to park up. <laughs> Apparently, Adele lives down here. The singer, Adele. Apparently she's got a house somewhere down here. Don't know how true that is. Right, there's a truck just pulled in. This is the other thing, right? Like, how busy is it? Because he's not going very far from inside the gate. This is where you can park up and, and pay. Yeah, there's quite a few. Got no, nowhere to go. I need one of these trucks to move so I can go in. Could be here a while, guys. Could be here a while. I'm gonna put our hazards on. Right, totally been loaded. Forklifter recognises me off of YouTube. <laughs> he goes, I know you're off of YouTube. I said, is that a good or bad thing? He goes, good, because I'm one of your followers. I said, ah, thanks, mate. <laughs> um, Right, so we got we got to pick up from three different keys, which is what I was just saying, and uh, they reckon I'm not going to be fully loaded tonight, um, which is which could be an issue because they've requested a six a.m. delivery for tomorrow. One would assume that's because the very timber that I'm going to have on is going to have to go off for deliveries or something. We will try our best. We always do. If we don't get loaded tonight, then we won't be able to go in until six a.m. tomorrow. Um, probably then won't leave until seven eight o'clock and then it's a two and a half hour drive to the destination so we're <laughs> looking at like lunchtime tomorrow if we don't get loaded tonight um but we'll see what happens he did say just pull in the middle and i'll get it on you i think i got one pack from here i think and three packs from another key and then i got 17 or 16 packs from the final key um which is what they're saying do the other ones first and then go back to the final one for the big job and they'll see what they can do, put it all on or, or put some of it on, I don't know. If they only put some of it on, then it's going to be a case of parking up for the night here. Obviously, well, I could I could go elsewhere, I suppose, but it's just better to stay here, isn't it? I got, they've already given me a pass for, for, um, for tomorrow. So there's today's pass, Tuesday, number 68. And I'm already number six in the line for tomorrow. That's how busy they are. So, yeah. There's five other drivers in front of me who are getting loaded tomorrow as well for whatever reason. Apparently. Or they might they might have these passes and actually give them back yet. Never know. They might be giving these out just in case. 
and they could quite well that those five drivers get loaded tonight and I will be first, but I could be six. But yeah, it's either one pack from here or three, I'm not sure. It's one from here, three from the other, or three from here and one from the other. One or the other, if that makes sense. Okay, location number two. <laughs> we did got, we got three packs on at the first location, so I think, I think this one is just one pack because they don't actually list it like, because the first one's gate 10, this one's gate eight, and then the other one's gate three, I think. So you'd think they'd put gate numbers on the paperwork, but they don't, they put the Quay letters. <laughs> so I've got three packs on now, and there's three OLBs, and then there's one ILB, which I think is this one, ILB. So I think it's one pack from here. Then we go back to where we were earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen BTs. But one, two, three, four of them have two. So that's eight and thirteen. Yeah. Okay, I have, I have a lot of packs going on. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Anyway. I'm just waiting for a forklift now to come and get me. Oh, it looks like he's coming now. And uh, we'll get one pack put on and then we'll go to the other one. Right, we're loaded. A joke. <laughs> we're not loaded. Uh, let's put you over here. We've uh, only got the uh, the four packs on from the two quays. I've been sat at this one uh, since four o'clock. It's now five o'clock, so I've been there for an hour. Didn't get touched, didn't get loaded and uh, now they're shut <laughs> so we find ourselves in a situation whereby we're half loaded and um well we're not even half loaded we're like 20 percent loaded i'd say if that and um yeah that's it we've got to get the rest put on tomorrow now as opposed to tonight which means it's obviously not going to be delivered for 6 a.m because we can't even get let in until this place and in, in can't even get let into this place until 6 a.m so um yeah, and then it's a two hour plus drive. So maybe maybe get there for 10 o'clock. Yeah, it should be there for 10. Midday, I said midday earlier, which is a bit... But it must be going really slow to get there for midday. <laughs> yeah, we're looking looking at about 10 o'clock, I reckon, tomorrow, but we, we will see, we will see. Um, so yeah, that's it, that's it for today. If anything, it means it's better for me as an individual, bad for the company. Well, it's not really bad for the company because it's gonna get delivered tomorrow anyway, regardless, but it might put us a load back, I suppose. But for me, it's good because regardless, I was gonna start work tomorrow about half past five. It doesn't matter whether I, whether I stay here tonight or whether I stay in St. Albans, half past five in the morning is when I was getting up tomorrow. The difference being is I've not got to work until eight o'clock tonight, it's five o'clock and I can park up now. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm finishing three hours earlier, so I've got three hours to do what I want to do, like watch stuff on TV and stuff, so... Um, for me, it's better. <laughs> but I, if I can get it done, I will. Always, always, always. Anyway, um, I probably will see you tomorrow. I was, gonna, I was wondering if I should leave it, at, leave it at this, but no, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow when we get the load loaded. Probably won't see it get delivered, but I think we'll see the load loaded probably be phone footage i would imagine we will see oh someone else is just pulling in now <laughs> they're going to be told to move um so yeah before i go i'm often asked what this is um it's like a little it's basically an air gun so down on my footwell it's, it's a bit dusty from a site i was on um earlier so i just do that and it just blows all the dust out and the footwell very handy also keeps you cool and stuff. You haven't got to have the door open. I just obviously have the door open to uh, to blow the dust out, but keeps you uh, keeps you nice and cool as well. <laughs> so that just sits up there. Anyway, I'm going to chill out for the evening, and I'll see you in the morning. And hopefully, we can get this fully loaded. It's a bit windy. Good morning. It is the next day. It is 6 a.m. and we are the first one in, which is good. Because there's quite a few trucks parked up outside <laughs> with um, stuff in the window ready for this morning, but I've woken up before and we got in before, and so 
Now we just need to wake up a little bit. They're gonna load me. I'm gonna wake up a little bit and then go outside and start strapping up. Right, they've just finished loading me. I'm now allowed to get out and strap. Let's see what we've got. It's very windy, uh, but this is what we've got to strap up. So I reckon three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straps. We'll probably do that, I reckon, maybe 10. Right, we're strapped up. Strapped up and loaded. I'll just uh, quickly go through it with you. So I put two straps on the front pack there, two, uh, three straps there. But bear in mind that strap also holds down this pallet, this pallet, that pallet, and the bottom pallet there. Those three straps, and then four straps there. That looks a bit overkill, but you'll you'll see why on the other side, and the one on the on the ass end. So it's ten straps there. They're five ton straps, so in theory they can hold thirty tons. It's very windy here, uh, but yeah, we won't be more than twenty-eight ton, I reckon. Won't be much more than that. Uh, and then in terms of height, we run at the same height as the cab, so four point two meters easily. Uh, let's go check the other side. Okay, and then the other side. So again, we've got two packs, uh, two straps holding that down, another two straps holding that pack down. All four of them are holding the whole lot down underneath it. Very windy, as I said. And then on the back end, we've got uh, the, four, the four straps there, and then one on the other end. I'm going to jump in the truck, it's really windy. Yeah, so basically, as I was saying, um, it looks like in some areas there's not enough straps, but it is actually enough. It's all—it's like a pyramid. One strap doesn't just do what it what it's on. It's it's holding something next to it as well because it's overlapping. So uh, I feel confident. I actually had two less straps on before I showed you that, and then I thought, now nah, I put two extra on. And. I always believe that. If, if a little part of you thinks, oh, should I put another one on? Put another one on, just do it. Just put another one on. Why risk it? So yeah, I put another two on. I put another one on the backpack, the, the tall one, and then I put another one on the uh, on the tail end as well, just to, because why not? Anyway, we're done. We need to go grab paperwork, so that's what I'm doing now. However, you're not gonna see this load delivered. So, I want to thank you now for watching. I do appreciate it. I got spotted loads today and yesterday from this place. But yeah, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.